Hey chat, how you doing? This is Destiny 2. Look, it's a game we don't, we haven't played before. The reason why we're playing is that there's a new mode this week and it ends like tomorrow. It's called Team Scorched. Everyone on both sides has a Scorch Cannon. Be brave. That, that's me. I'm really brave. But it's really fun and I've not, like, I've, I want to record it. It's so much fun and it's going to go like tomorrow and I'm loving it. So I thought I'd just record a video on it. So uh, I guess I'll see you in the game. Uh, bye. The fact there's three people that know anything about this game. Ooh, that's a helmet. Well, the three people that know anything about this game, this is my guardian. She's looking kind of fly at the moment. I'm rocking the uh, the Lightkin set. It's really nice. I could swap the gloves out to the gloves that match, but TBH, I kind of kind of like the fitting aspects. A because they're really good, and B they kind of match the set. But like this is my guardian. She's looking really nice with the vigilance wing. I'm in love with this gun at the moment. Big big five round burst pulse rifle. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's really good. You can just two burst people to the head, and it's very, very stupid. But uh, I guess I'll go into a game. Uh, I'll, I'll just cut to one of the game. Bannerfall. This is a pretty alright map, I think. You want maps with open spaces. If it's all just close quarters, it becomes really unfun. This might not be great. It's big and open, but there's a lot of doorways and things. So maybe it'll be a bit stinky. I don't know. Okay, so welcome to Team Scorched. Everyone's got a Scorch Cannon. Uh, kill the enemies. You can rocket jump to the Scorch Cannon, which is one of my- Oh. Which is one of my favourite bits. Um, but honestly, it's just- My favourite bit is just getting on sprees. When you get sprees like, perfectly detonated rockets, or perfectly aimed rockets, it just feels so nice. Someone around this corner. Yeah, there is. Hello. Did you get them? Oh, they got me then. I don't know, this mode is a little ridiculous amount of fun. I started playing it because- there's uh, the bounty for like the the bounty for like the um, the pinnacle weapon this season is you've got to do matches in anything and then you've also got to kill things with solar damage and disintegrate their bodies and these giant cannons are solar and also disintegrate bodies so I just thought hmm what if I just play this mode and then it turns out it's really really fun if you can aim. That is, which I can't seem to do right now. Jesus, I got him, but I died of fall damage. Lovely. I need to warm. I've been playing actual Crucible all day, not like silly mode. So I'm not that warmed up with this, TBH. It's very different aiming. For the first thing, you're in third person, so you can't aim directly up or directly down anymore. You're stuck with like like sword vision i guess is the i guess super is another thing you could say is also stuck in this vision like you're stuck as if you're in a super or using a sword which is fine usually because swords don't really require like aim but i know the scorch cannons do oh i want to see if i can get a cool streak this game I don't know, that's my favorite part of this mode is when you like start landing a bunch of rockets in a row and start like detonating them in the air and getting a bunch of cool kills that's when i really enjoy this mode and for the most part, it's still a lot of fun anyway, but like, ooh, is this gonna walk next to the bomb that I planted? You can stick bombs to the wall and then charge them up, and the longer you charge them up for, the more damage they do. Which is a nice little feature. There you go, like that. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. I couldn't see that because of them firing through. This mode is a clusterfuck, and I'm starting to think that this map maybe wasn't the best for it. But, you know, we'll make do with what we've got. We'll do another game after this regardless. I just want to show off this mode, TBH. Like, oh, there we go. There's a double. Not a triple, because I missed. That's nice. These seem to have really heavy fall off. Like, it seems like you'll either one-shot someone, or you'll do, like, 18 damage and they'll be completely fine. Like, I, I, the fall off on these rockets seem ridiculously high. Yeah, there's a nice little streak, I guess, I'm going on. Four kills. Five. Mm, no, still four kills. Damn, I thought I'd get a five-kill streak. I want to get a 20 kill streak in this, but I think I've got like a 16 kill streak at some point. I want to get 20 just because that's when Shax goes on like his big rant. And I don't know, you always, you always want Shax to be happy. There you go, three down. Okay, if we can win. It's first to 60 to win, which is a bit of a weird number, but like, you know, we, 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 we work with it. We work with what we get given. But I think that's so it doesn't last too long. Like, these matches are really short, which is another reason I like them. Um, okay, so he's over there. He was over there. No one else. This guy over there. Okay, nope. 
Hold strong, and this battle is How's there a rift? You can't. You said you can't use abilities in this mode. So how's the guy put a rift down? What? I'm really confused by that. Anyway. Yeah, you're completely stuck with just a cannon. You can't use abilities. You can't use a super. Obviously, you can't use guns at all. Like, this is the only thing you have. And you're gonna. Oh, I'm a ghost. Cool. Ghost is uh, a medal that you get for if you kill seven people without them damaging you. That is how you get ghost. It's a pretty nice medal to get. You get it a fair few times in this, and I died. You get it a fair few times in this because obviously you just one shot people. So if you have to jump on them, you like. Obviously, just get it a lot. Is that guy gonna walk through? Nah, he can 100% see that bomb. No, no point even trying to get him to go through there. There we go. Oh, we won! Oh wow. Yeah, these modes are really short. I'll probably do another game. Maybe I'll do three if it goes on for like, no time at all. But I don't know. Let's see how I did on the scoreboard. Hey, 19 kills. And more damage than anyone else. And bigger streak? Yeah, that was pretty good actually. That was a pretty nice game. But yeah, I'll do another one. Oh, Rusted Lands. Rusted Lands is a D1 map and like, everyone likes it. I loved it in Destiny 1 and I think it's really good in this map, in this game too. I'm very glad we're playing it right now. And look, there's me in the in the corner back there. Ooh. Rusted Lands is great. There's so much open space. Like, there's a lot of height you can get. You can jump to a lot of places like up here. Like, it's a lot of fun. I guess I can use this game to kind of talk about... Like, there's no strategy for this mode, obviously. Because you just kind of jump around. But there is kind of a best thing... A, a worst thing to do. Like, I think the best class is probably Top Tree um, Dawnblade just because you can hover in the air while shooting, while other classes can't, and I also die, and I just kind of float in there. Basically, no other class can stay in the air while shooting, which means they have to go to the ground, and going to the ground in a mode where everyone's got splash damage means dying. Which is why at the same time, I think that Hunter is maybe the worst. Let's see if I can stay there. Oh, never mind, there was a guy there. So I think Hunter's the worst, because Hunter gets the can stay in the air the least amount. Warlock can do it the most, and Titan second, probably. Like, Hunters can kind of get around it by doing, like, a, like a cheap little rocket jump to get up, and then, like, use the double jumps, but, I don't know. I've not tried Hunter on this, because I don't have a Hunter. I've only got a Warlock, because I started playing, like, three weeks ago or something. So I've not bothered to make other classes yet. There's, like, four guys there. Hello? You all okay back here? How you all doing? You all well? Okay, there's one dead. Missed that guy. Where'd he go? He went over this way. He's dead as well. Teammate cleared him up. Okay, cool. Oh, immediately die. My aim got blocked. One of the things I don't like is you are locked in third person, like I've said. So, it means that you can't... Aim directly above or below, and also your crosshair or camera gets blocked by gets blocked by your body sometimes. So you can't really like. Sometimes your aim will get messed up because you look. The camera gets wedged inside you. He's above me, damn it. Yeah. Um. Sometimes it'll get wedged above you and stuff. And I don't know. I don't like that. It's not very fun. It's it's one of those things. That I, I get that it's like a weekly mode, so no one's taking it seriously. But it's like it's one of those things I wish would have just got improved before they implemented it into a into a PvP mode. We are losing though. My biggest streak is three this game, on like the seven or like something I got last time. So I don't know, I'd like to I'll try and get some more kills going. There's one. There's two. There's three. Okay. That's pretty good. There's not four. I damaged him though. There's five. Five kill streak. Get off the floor, Jack. Triple kill. See, okay. Now, now I'm doing wellish, I think. Up up here. Get that guy. Get that guy as well. Oh, get down. Okay, he died, thank God. Get him as well. Damage them, but not kill them, I guess. There we go, 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 that was a 10 kill streak, there we go, that was a nice little...
little spree. That's what I really like about this mode. You can just start firing rockets, detonating them in the air, chaining kills together. That's when it gets really fun for me. But another thing I like is instant respawns. When you die, you don't just stay right. It's so just constant action, which I really love. It's one of the things I liked about Mayhem. Back when I've played that. I've not played it in a while because I've, I've not played this game in like three years. Um, this is probably isn't. I was going to talk about the season a bit more. This probably isn't the best way to do that. I'll probably do some of the actual like season content and then talk about the new season at some point. Because, you know, like I said in my last video, I want to just make more things. And this is one of the games I've been playing recently. So, you know, I thought, hmm, I've been playing Destiny anyway. I've been enjoying this mode anyway. Might as well record it. And, ooh, we did a lot of fun not having to play a game that I don't like to make videos. I'm going to hop in this, play like, I don't know, if like eight minutes or something. That's what it's probably at. I don't know how long this video is. Probably, probably not even going to be ten minutes, TBH. Because these games are really short. But like, ooh, this game is just a lot of fun. I'm enjoying Destiny way more than I used to. Because I played it on console for ages, and now I'm on PC. And it's just streamlined everything so much. It also helps that Destiny is a better game than back when I used to play it. Like, last time I stopped playing this game, it's just Season of the Drifter, I want to say. Which probably wasn't a great season. I just think that, from what I know, just everything before Beyond Light wasn't very good in this game. So, there we go. Nice double. Now that we're past that, like, maybe the game's a bit better. Also, we both need, both teams need two kills to win, and I'd really like it to be us that gets them. One kill to win. Oh, we, we both ended on 60, but we got it first. A get trolled. Ooh, I've got a lot of rewards. That's pretty cool. Um, I guess we'll go, like, see these rolls and then end the video there, I guess. I don't know. Also, did I... Oh! Top kills! Top damage! That's a lot! I did a lot of kills that game. I really like this mode. <laughs> anyway, I guess we'll go and, like, look at what weapons we got because people like to do that for some reason. Like, I'm I guarantee you it won't be a god roll. I don't get god rolls in this game. Alright, let's see what really average rolls I get. So, like... Oh, ignore, ignore my postmaster. I don't keep it clean. Are any of these good? Moving target kill clip, that's not bad. Rapid hit thrash, that's probably not bad. Tunnel vision snapshot, that sounds fun. Uh, mm, oh. uh, no distraction snapshot, that might be yours. This, oh, that honestly might be alright. I think I'm going to keep that. Uh, slide shot, osmosis. I don't like osmosis, so nope. Oh, lag, nice. And fourth time's the charm and wellspring. That might be alright for PvE, so I'll keep that as well. There we go. That's a nice little conclusion to this video. I don't have anything else to do. I've got a bunch of Shacks bounties built up. So I've got a bunch of like Shacks packages that I've got built up that I'm not doing anything with. Because like, I don't, I, don't, I don't really care about like the 11 packages he'll give me at low power. So, you know. But, anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.